What's up everybody, Nathaniel Morton here with NathanielMorton.com helping you become bigger, stronger, faster, and more explosive. Today, my buddy Nate here in the red hoodie and myself, Nathaniel Morton, owner of this YouTube channel, we are going to take you through an upper body explosive workout for strength and power. We're going to hit the chest, the back, the biceps, the triceps, the shoulders, the traps, everything in your upper body besides abs, all right? So by the end of this video, you'll be able to take these exercises to the gym with you, do this workout for yourself, and become more explosive, stronger, bigger, faster, more powerful, everything like that. Now, first things first when it comes to becoming explosive, okay? When it comes to becoming more powerful and more explosive, Every single rep, you want to be fast and explosive with good form, okay? Never sacrifice good form. But if you want to build muscle, if you want to gain size, then you want to do these exercises slow and controlled, focusing on time under tension. But if you want to become explosive, if you want to become stronger and more powerful, then do these fast and explosive every single rep with good form. So... Here we go. The first exercise that we did that is already passed now since I've been talking is explosive plyo push-ups. We always like to start with some sort of plyometric exercise, whether it's lower body or upper body, but we like to start with body weight before we get into using the weighted exercises. So whether it's upper body plyometrics with an agility ladder or some variation of the push-up or these plank transitions or the plyo push-ups, whatever it is, we always start with body weight plyometrics, no matter whether it is upper body or lower body. You got to get warmed up. So those explosive plyo push-ups we did for three sets to failure. And the second exercise that we did was platform plank transitions using one arm. We did those also three sets to failure. At that point, we were pretty warmed up. We sat in the sauna beforehand. We were all ready to go. And we moved on to dumbbell push press. Okay, dumbbell push press. When you do the dumbbell push press, you want to be using your entire body. You want to use your legs. So use your legs, go all the way up through the body and press over your head as fast as you can explosively. Okay, you can also do this with a barbell, the barbell push press, but we did dumbbell push presses and we did four sets of 10 reps. Next was lateral raises, okay? We actually did these lateral raises. We used 15 pounds and we did one set of 50, okay? One set of 50. You can also do one set of 50. That'd be extremely good if you want to build muscle. Um, you can also do these explosively. Just make sure you have extreme, extremely good form. Um, but you don't have to do one set of 50. You could do three sets of 15. You could do four sets of 15. Something more, more of a bodybuilding style workout. But just make sure you hit your lateral raises in some sort of set and rep variation. Now, when we did our reverse lat pull downs, we were focusing on exploding on the way down and controlling the weight on the way up. You could even control it more than Nate is right here on the way up, a little bit slower. Fast on the way down, slow on the way up. Always focusing on the lats. Keep your mind in your muscle, put your mind in your back, your mind is in your lats right now. Fast on the way down, explosive on the way down, and control it on the way up. Also to get stronger, you want to go a little bit heavier, okay? And always make sure, as I stated earlier, that your form is immaculate. Form is king, everything else is secondary. After the reverse lap pull downs, we move to standing one arm cable rows. We like the standing one arm cable rows or anything standing as opposed to sitting or seated because it makes you engage your core more than if you were to sit down. So the standing one arm cable rows, we did these four sets, 12 reps each. So I did my four with my right arm, then I switched to my left arm, explosive on every single rep, control the weight back down. Good form, engage the core, make sure your abs are tight during this whole thing, 
And um, if you wanted to do this seated, you could. We just love to do this, everything standing, because we want our core to be engaged. Because as an athlete, your core is most important. Okay, if you're talking about athletics and strength and power and becoming an explosive athlete, you have to be working on your core. You cannot skip core work, and that's with your squats, that's with your deadlifts, all of these big exercises, just like this, standing one arm cable rows, engage your core so that you get that core strength and you can translate that to your sport or your athletics that you're going to go play. Okay, so these were standing one arm cable rows. We did four sets of 12 reps each arm. The next thing we did were explosive dumbbell bench press. The explosive dumbbell bench press. We did this for four sets of 15 reps each. Now, for you, if you want to become stronger, what I would do is I wouldn't do 15 reps. I would lower that down and go heavier. So if I were you, I would do either six reps, I would do eight reps, but 15 is a little excessive if we're talking about strength and power. Nate and I have just been on a progression, so we started it four sets of six. Then we went to four sets of eight, four sets of 10, four sets of 12. Now we're at four sets of 15, and we're trying to go heavier each time. The reps go up each time, so we are progressive overloading the muscle, which is what you should do. Do more than you did the last workout. Always do more than you did the last workout so you can get bigger, stronger, faster, more explosive. But if I were you and you want to become stronger, increase the weight and do less reps. Okay, moving on to arms. We did, this is extremely good if you want to get blood to the muscle and get a pump. Sometimes we like to do this first just because how much blood comes to our muscle, it gets us really warmed up and ready to go. We did reverse grip tricep pushdowns, 12 reps. Then we switch our grip and we go to the overhand grip for 12 reps. Then we take the pin out, we put the cable all the way down, as you'll see me do here in a second, and we do reverse grip bicep curls for 12 reps, and then we do normal bicep curls for 12 reps. So reverse triceps, overhand triceps, reverse biceps, normal biceps, okay? So you do 12 reps of each, at the end, that's 48 reps that you did. I think we did three sets of this. Um, so by the end of that, you have so much blood to the muscle and you have a massive pump for the rest of your workout. So at this point, you could take your hoodie off and show off those guns, baby. All right, so this was arms. And moving on, the last thing that we did, we only have two exercises left. We love to end with band work. Okay, just like we always like to start with some sort of body weight plyometrics, whether it's upper body or lower body, for upper body, we always love to end with some sort of band work. So what we did was three sets of 15 for band pull-aparts, and then we did three sets of 15 for band external rotations. So we hit the biceps, the triceps, the chest, the back, the shoulders, the traps, and we hit a little bit of core. We hit everything in the upper body, and this is how you can use all of these exercises to become more explosive, more power, more powerful, and get bigger, faster, and stronger. But remember the main takeaway, you always want to train fast and explosive to gain explosiveness, slow and controlled to build muscle. I will see you guys next time.